Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And if by some misstep of this cantankerous universe you're not, well, let me regale you with a nice tale about my first and worst commission. Just to tickle your fancy for the day, huh? Pep you up with a funny story. <laughs> what a way to pop your commission cherry, am I right? Head first into the story we go. So, imagine this. Early 2019, I had just bought my drawing tablet and after a month of practice, because it's very different from using pen and paper, I decide to announce on my WhatsApp that, hey, I'm accepting commissions. And well, not well after, someone accepts. It's a good friend of mine from high school, the one known Riley. And he says, hey Holmes, I got a friend for you. She wants a logo for her business and would like to know if you're up for it. <gasps> I received my first commission and university hasn't given me any noble work, giving me time to work on both efficiently. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. So then I reply to him, I am ready to serve. And there we go, I have accepted my first commission. I'm excited, I'm fist pumping the air, my parents think I'm insane again. And four days later, I haven't received any direction. And now I'm a bit confused. I'm like, what's the status of my employment? Have I been fired before being hired? Have I been judged by the astral plane? Have I been excommunicadoed? Has the brotherhood forsaken me? <gasps> Have I been replaced? And I had to ask my friend, I'm like, Riley, what's the deal? She's like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. You're still employed. All right, fine. I await a further instruction. 18 days later, I get a message from Riley and it says, and I quote, Yo dog, how far are you? <laughs> huh? Far with what? I didn't even get anything. Did I miss a vibe check? Where, where were you supposed to communicate through the astral plane? I haven't even received any directions. How am I supposed to get forward with any commission? He's like, oh, yeah. She said I should tell you that the business is a nail salon and she's given me complete artistic freedom as long as it has something to do with nails. Now, I understand that people think creative freedom is good. It is. It's just that creativity is like an explosion. It has no direction sometimes. If you give it like a, if you just aim it at something, it becomes a very powerful force. But then if you just let it free, it's like a toddler. It's just chaos. But fine, whatever. I get to the design concept. I get the design concept done in a day. And then I get the full thing designed out the next day. And I send a low quality render for approval. And I wait. <laughs> Three days later, I get a message that says, nah, nah, she wants something else. It's not really focused in where she wants it to be focused. Anything. But fine, fine. I'm a professional. Freaking professional. So, but now, the problem is, she's been wasting so much time that uni has now kicked into full gear. I have lots of schoolwork to do. So, my outtake is now considerably throttled. And now I can only get the design out and the low poly and the low quality render out in nine days. Same procedure, low quality render, sent for approval, and I wait. Two days later, I get hit with the, with the worst message ever. Nah, brah, she doesn't need it anymore. Fires of hell have no fury like mine. Not only has she wasted my time, she's wasted my energy. I could have been doing other stuff. I could have been focusing on school. Hell, I could have been resting. I could have been doing so much. I have clearly wasted my time. And I learned something very valuable at that time. I should have asked for the money up front. <laughs> but in all seriously, the moral of the story is you know, something. I don't know what it is. Maybe the moral of the story is to ask for money up front, you know? Yeah. 
I should draw up contracts now. So I realized that my mistake was having a friend as the middleman. Having a middleman to talk between people is really dumb. Because A, they're also human and they can forget. So she might have been communicating with me like really on time as the messages came back and forth. It's just that also the middleman, Riley, had his own things to do. So his life might have kind of just taken him, taken him off the messages he was supposed to turn back and forth. So really, I don't blame much of it, much of this on anybody except myself. Should have taken the lead. And as a bonus story, it leads on to my second commission. Oh, oh. So this one was for a friend. They had like they were they were releasing an album, and they were like, "Hey, do you mind like just getting like just giving me like a." some art for for the album like cover art and I'm like oh, sure I can do that just know that uni will throttle my output so be patient and they were credit to them and I got them the I got them the concept out and they were like ah it's not really what I wanted I'm like okay give me creative direction show me what you want and then they give me a phrase to work with and I'm like, okay, it's a lot better than work with nails. So I work with that. Basically, the design was not to give too much away, but it was uh, nobody faster. Yeah. So I thought, why don't I draw a cheetah and the world's fastest man running towards something, towards, a, towards the artist? of the album but then the artist is not even breaking a swag trying to outrun them that's swag-tastic that's magnificent that's that's big brain time big brain time oh yeah so then I get to work my weekends are spent just just wor workshopping this thing I'm doing I'm doing research I'm referencing I'm even asking them like, hey, can you send me a picture of yourself right now? And they say no. And I'm like, damn. Fine. Whatever. So then I'm working, working, working. And then the masterpiece. My magnum opus at the time. I send it to them. I'm like, approval. And they say, no approval. In fact, they don't say anything. The picture is just there. And I'm like, and? 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 Nothing bad. Yet again, I have wasted my time. And I realized. I should have asked for the money up front. I realized. I should get a contract. Yeah, I should bind people to this. I should charge. Now, don't mind my... I think maybe, maybe I'm coming across as I'm like, I'm charging out the wazoo. Here's what is, I'm working at South African minimum wage, which last I checked was 20 bucks an hour. And I said, it roughly takes me an hour for the, an hour for the rough draft, an hour line art, and then an hour coloring it in. That's just 60 bucks. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is at the time. I was like, the whole thing will be 60 bucks. And that's it. Why is 60 bucks so crazy? Like literally, I am unnecessarily cheap. Freaking hell, this is my time and effort. Electricity is costing me more per hour. But I guess it's one of the things about being an artist in South Africa everyone and like nah not just South Africa it's the thing about being a 2D art well an artist specifically a visual artist at least from my experience is that everyone thinks drawing is easy and the ones that do think it's easy are the ones that don't know how to draw anybody who's anybody will tell you drawing takes effort it takes concentration. 
it is an actual workout. And it's like, I guess mainly it's because you've only, people have only seen the end product. They've never really seen the process. Even in speed arts, speed arts, speed paints, time lapses for 3D, it all just makes it seem like it's easy. Because what you're just seeing is the breeze through. This is, this is what it looks like after months of practice where it's like, okay, I can get this done in certain amount of time. And then also it's, it gets sped up because no one's gonna sit down, or pardon me, maybe, but no one's gonna sit down for a three hour video just watching me sketch. And three hours is a lot of time to be yakking. I can barely yak for 10 minutes. But I've taken those two stories as a lesson. To the lady, to the female friend of my homeboy Riley, to the failed commission of number one and two, if by some miracle, some luck of the draw, some iota of coincidence you're watching this, just know, I forgive you. And I also hope that you forgive me. Because we're, to error is to be human and to be human is divine. I hope that we've all learned something. I certainly have. And I hope that you can leave something in the comments and tell me, hey, we're good. Because, hey, there's a lot of hate going around in the world and we don't need more of it. Hey, you magnanimous horde of human excellence. Thanks so much for staying till the end of this video. You've blessed not only me, but this video with your lovely time. And I'd like to leave you with these words. Please, be nice to each other. The world is full of sadness and all the bad things. But in a place where such evils and badness can exist, I'd like to believe that amazing good can come from anyone who gives an effort. An act of random kindness a day will make anyone's life all the better for it and if you don't mind use that smidgen of time and effort to leave a comment and a like down below and if you're new here consider subscribing i love you all god bless adios amigos